In this video, we're going to learn how to find the smallest value in an array with recursion using C. The first thing we'll do is declare and initialize the array. We'll have int array is equal to 4, 1, 8, 6, 0, 9, 5, 2, 3, and 7. And the smallest value in this array is 0, here. Because the array has length 10, we'll declare and initialize a variable called length, and we'll set it equal to 10. Our function to find the smallest element in this array using recursion will look like this. It's going to return an int value, the smallest element in the array. We'll call the function min. The function will accept the array itself as an argument. So we'll have here int array for the first parameter. And the function will also accept the number of elements remaining to examine in the array as an argument. We'll call this parameter n. And we can then supply a definition of this function down here. And the way we're going to solve this problem is by continually examining each element in this array one at a time, from the end of the array to the start of the array. And each time, we're going to compare this element to the smallest element found in that remaining portion of the array. If it's smaller, we're going to return that element. If it's not, we're going to return the smallest element found in that remaining portion of the array. And in this way, we can find the smallest element in the array. So the implementation of this algorithm is going to look like this. We'll first find the smallest element in the remaining portion of the array by calling min with array and n minus one. We'll store this value that's returned by the function into a variable called possible min. Then we'll compare this value to the value we're currently examining in the array at the index n minus one. So here we'll have an if statement. We'll say if the possible min is less than the value at the current index that we're examining as given by n minus one, then we're going to return possible min because that minimum value in the remaining portion of the array is smaller than the element that we're currently looking at. Otherwise, we're going to return the element that we're currently examining with return the element in the array at the index n minus one because this value is either equal to or smaller than the minimum value found in the remaining portion of the array. Now we are missing one very important thing. Right now we continually call min to find the smallest element in the remaining portion of the array. We call that the recursive step when the function calls itself. Eventually though, we want recursion to stop. We call that the base step. So we want the function to stop calling itself once we reach this first element in the array. Now that element by default is going to be the minimum value in that portion of the array. So what we'll do is in the case that n is equal to one and we have one remaining element to examine, we're going to return the value in the array at the index n minus one, or we could just put zero there. But the idea is that once we reach this first element in the array, we're just going to return it because it is the minimum element in that portion of the array. Now that value is going to be returned to a previous call of the min function. It's going to be the possible min in the case of examining this element here. It's going to be compared to this element here. And the smaller of the two is going to be returned as the smallest element in this portion of the array. And the algorithm will proceed like that because that value is going to be returned to a previous call to the min function when we're examining this element. And this element will be compared to the smallest value from this portion of the array. And the smaller of those two values is going to be returned. And the algorithm will proceed like that until we find the smallest element in the array. So let's test this function out now. We'll call printf with min colon percent d backslash n to output the value returned by the function. We'll call the function min with the array and the length of the array as arguments 
because initially we're going to examine the entire length of the array to find the minimum value in the array. So we'll save, compile, and run the program, and we do get that the min value is zero. And that's correct, because zero is the smallest value in this array. So this is how we can find the smallest value in an array with recursion using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.